Express Route Metro represents a major change to the topology options we have when deploying Express Route. Express Route always generates a lot of interest because many, uh, if not most, of Azure's largest customers use the service. Therefore, this change will be of interest to many people. We're already getting a lot of questions on this, so here's a video talking about the preview announcement, what the product is, how it compares to existing options for Express Route, when you should use it, uh, when you shouldn't use it, and then we'll wrap up by comparing the current options uh, with Azure Express Route compared to those options for hybrid connectivity from other cloud providers. Okay, so here's the uh, the announcement you would have saw if you're subscribed to the, the Azure Updates RSS feed. There's a few details in here, such as the region availability, or to be more specific, the the edge pop availability. See some previous videos on why the distinction between edge pop and region is important when designing networks on Azure. And you'll see a couple of things we'll touch on later, like the deployment options. When we normally think about Express Route, what's ingrained in our knowledge now is this concept of a primary connection and a secondary connection. And when we connect your network from on-prem into Azure, there's no option for deploying Express Route with only one logical or physical connection. So this diagram here, historically, has always meant that this connectivity is happening inside of one edge location. This is a, a co-location env environment normally provided by someone like Equinix or Telehouse. And you've got the Microsoft routers, one router here, one router here, and then customer or partner routers here with two connections. So you've got resilience inside of the same building. But of course, you then have to think about, well, what if that entire edge location goes down? What does my failover scenario look like? And that's the space in which the uh, Metro SKU plays. So what I just described on the previous slide there was kind of traditional express route deployment options where both of your primary and secondary connections get deployed in the same peering location. The Metro SKU changes that up a little bit and now offers a different deployment option which is you still deploy one express route circuit, which is a circuit that contains a primary connection and a secondary connection. But now we have the option of deploying that connection pair, that single circuit across edge locations. So in this option here, we've got a leg of my express route circuit inside of the Amsterdam one peering location and a leg of my circuit inside of the Amsterdam 2 peering location. So again, one express route circuit, but the connections are in different edge locations. So I'm getting the same bandwidth, so two times 10 gig, for example, but my resilient story when it comes to geographical risk is different because the Amsterdam 1 peering location and the Amsterdam 2 peering location <clears throat> are in different areas of Amsterdam. Whereas on the left-hand side here, that was all inside of one location. So that's the major difference. Um, one thing to call out here is this is an early uh, service when it comes to uh, its status in Azure. It's just been announced in preview and therefore it's only available in certain locations. So the locations where this will be applicable in the future is all the locations where you uh, where Azure has multiple edge locations. So when, we, when we've got, uh, for example, uh, Dublin or uh, Washington DC, there's uh, two, two pops in the same city. That's what we call a, a metro location. And we can see that uh, as of now, these locations that are onboarded to the Express Route Metro service are Amsterdam, Singapore and Zurich. And you can see here that, uh, you know, as I said before, Amsterdam 1 maps to uh, a building owned by Equinix. Amsterdam 2 is a building owned by Digital Realty. And uh, we can also see, as I'll talk about shortly, that this Metro story, the ability to, to deploy a circuit across POPs, 
is applicable to direct and uh, partners. You can also see here that some partners are available today, such as Megaport and uh, some partners in the other locations are forthcoming. So as I say, if you're a direct customer, so whether, whether or not you're deploying a port pair that physically connects to your routers, you will have the option here of deploying to a metro location now rather than deploying to a single point of presence. So as the documentation says, this behind this top level item, uh, peer and location Singapore Metro, this Singapore 1 and Singapore 2 now, which is the, the, the new addition here. Similarly, if you're deploying circuits via an express route partner like Megaport, again, in the peer and location field, we've now got this option for the Metro deployment. So how does this Metro SKU fit into the existing resilience patterns for express route? And let's try and wrap our hands around some of the uh, nomenclature that will be used going forward in Azure in terms of express route resilience levels. So we start off with standard resilience, and this is back to the very first diagram I shared. This is the classic express route design, which you're familiar with, which is you take a single circuit and you get both legs of that circuit, or both connections inside of the same peering location. So this will be happening, for example, inside of the same Equinix facility inside of a city. So we're all familiar with that. Um, it's got benefits, right? If this, if this router here goes down for maintenance or for some unforeseen reason, you still have connectivity via the top leg. But as we've talked about at length previously, if this entire green peering location goes down, then you need a, another story uh, to mitigate your risk for that. So that's standard resilience. That's kind of the, the minimum you can get when you take uh, Express Route as a service. Now we have this option being referred to as high resilience, which maps to the new Metro SKU, which is I've still got a single circuit. So I've still got two connections, but those connections now are, as we said, inside of different pops in the same Metro or same city area. So we've got here uh, my connection, primary connection inside of this pop, and then the second connection inside of this pop. And if you use the new um, portal deployment uh, experience for Express Route, you can even see how far away these locations are to give you a feel for, well, would I get different latency through, through these pops? Generally, the lat latency is gonna be very similar if it's a, a Metro one plus two scenario. So that's high resilience. This is the new tier now kind of sitting in the middle. Well, let's not forget that what most enterprise customers do today on Azure uh, and what they should continue to do is leverage what we are calling now maximum resilience. So this is the design. If you are an existing customer with multiple regions or multiple availability zones, you're probably or hopefully already running this design, which is you've already taken two circuits and you've deployed the first circuit into the first pop, the second circuit into the other pop or the other edge location and you've got therefore multiple links inside of each edge location. So you can see here that this design is giving you both the pop resilience, so geographical risk mitigation, but also inside of the same facility there's link level resilience as well. So there's additional uh, resilience that comes with this, plus obviously you get more bandwidth, there's four times say 10 gig here as opposed to two times 10 gig. And one thing I want to call out quite strongly here is we're not suggesting that the Metro option, the, the high resilience pattern I just talked about, is a wholesale replacement for this pattern that uh, many customers have landed on over the years. As I say, they, they're different resilient stories. They offer protection against different uh, failure scenarios. They offer different levels of bandwidth throughput. Um, but this has been referred to now going forward, it's maximum resilience. We have standard single circuit, normal deployment, high metro, and the maximum resilience, the multiple circuits across multiple peering locations. Now let's go back and think about, um, from the previous video, we talked about some express route resilience customer scenarios. Let's think about a couple of these. 
This is not exhaustive, so there'll be other areas where Metro is applicable. But let's think about a couple of them where Metro could be a great win. So this particular design, we talked about having a customer that's using Azure in multiple regions. So for example, uh, North Europe and West Europe. And by doing that, we are probably indicating implicitly that we want to mitigate the risk of a single Azure region going down, single uh, physical location um, going down, and we've deployed our application in whatever fashion, fashion active, active, or active, passive across regions. And we talked about before how this particular uh, scenario has uh, got out of sync between express route and the, the region on the right because this single express route circuit is deployed here inside of a single pop. So imagine this is um, Amsterdam 1, for example. We have a, a single point of geographical risk in the middle, whereas on the right-hand side, we have ge ge geographical risk uh, mitigation. In previous videos, we talked about the, the right way to fix this would be to deploy a new express route circuit down the bottom there and to sort of sync up those two decisions. Now we have the additional option of Metro, which is you could remain using one circuit, but we stretch that circuit and have one leg of it inside of this pop and then one leg of it inside of this pop and we connect it to our network in a diverse fashion and the, the same express route circuit is used logically to connect to these gateways but we know the underlying express route circuit metro is across pops so that's one uh, scenario where metro would be applicable in a very similar fashion we have the scenario where a customer has deployed all of their services in a single azure region across availability zones they're using az SKUs on the gateway az SKUs for compute etc so again implicitly on the right hand side we want to mitigate single uh, data center risk. So we're using multiple availability zones. And again, if you're using a normal express route circuit in a single edge pop, you kind of don't have that synchronization in decision-making between express route and the regional components. So therefore Metro would be a scenario here where you could deploy the express route Metro SKU. And again, you get one leg, one leg here, one leg in a different pop connect it to your network in a resilient fashion and you marry up the 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 resilient stories there again as i say it's not a, a expected to be a replacement for the maximum resilience model but it is an option which starts to bring your express route design in uh, in closer synchronization with your your regional design there's many other factors to express route resilience and you know, we talked before about the importance of gateways, how you configure on-premises, how you configure the logical BGP routing. You know, check out the, the previous video on the channel, uh, which goes and does a deep dive on each of those. Okay, let's finish up by now comparing the express route updated resilience options versus what you might get from uh, other CSPs like uh, AWS and GCP. And all of this information I've just pulled out of the, the public docs from various providers, so there's nothing secret here. First of all, we've got AWS, and um, they publish these options for connecting through to their services, and they refer to them as high resilience, which is you, know, you take a, a port in uh, multiple peering locations and then connect that down to on-prem. So this model here would be sort of very similar to the Metro SKU that we are uh, talking about in this video. And then we have the AWS maximum resilience model, which is the same as the Azure maximum resilience model that we talked about that many enterprise customers run today. Google or GCP is quite similar. Uh, here we have the what they deem as non-critical. So again, this is taking a port in this one co-location facility, another port in this co-location facility, and then stretching that down to on-prem. So again, this non-critical GCP model is very similar to the newly announced Metro SKU in Azure. 
And GCP also have a higher level of uh, reference architecture or production level or mission critical, which is similar to the, the maximum resilience models from Azure and AWS. So if you're familiar with uh, GCP or AWS and you were familiar with the sort of non-critical or the high resilience models, and you were looking for the direct equivalent on Azure, the Metro SKU now offers a sort of uh, almost apples to apples comparison, whereas before that was uh, not possible to achieve. So just to round out the, the video uh, and show again where Metro fits, we have that standard resilience model on Azure where we have the single circuit in a single pop. We have the maximum resilience model, which is the design that is still correct for a lot of enterprise customers and what a lot of customers run, which is the two circuits giving a total of four ports across two pops. And then we have this new option in the middle here now of uh, high resilience uh, with the Metro SKU, which is single circuit, giving a leg in multiple pops in the same Metro area. Anyway, I hope that um, provided some additional context on the newly announced SKU, and I will see you in the next video.